Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be walking you through how I make my famous macaroon candles. So I ordered all this stuff off Amazon. I may have the links down below if you were interested in knowing where I got it. But this is just 250 grams of soy wax. This is um, wax color melts. And then I also have a... Um, scent i chose strawberry scent for this one some toothpicks and the um wax sticks that will hold make the candle a candle um all this stuff is pretty cheap you can get it for around 20 to 25 dollars um and the mold that i picked is really nice and this will be the one that helps you with the macaroons so hopefully you can find that otherwise i will try to show you how to do it Okay, so um, we're going to get started with this. First, I'm going to grab all my materials out and then we will start measuring stuff out and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, guys, I have all my materials here and also please make sure your um, cup slash measuring bowl is microwave safe because I'm going to be showing you how to use this on the microwave way. Although you can use this um, on your stove top, but... Um, heat top i just thought it would be easier to show you on the microwave way okay, so first you're going to open your pack of wax and measure out to 100 grams so i'm going to do that now Alright, so I have my 100 gram cup and now I'm going to put it in my microwave on a consistent 30 second run. So I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm just going to open my microwave, pop it in and start it for around 30 seconds. And you're going to do this a few times until um, it's fully melted. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, I'm going to continue to clean up and I'll see you guys when that's melted. Okay guys, so I just put the color wax melt into my oven, I mean my microwave, and I melted this for about a minute and it wouldn't melt in this cup. So I decided to add it into the um, soy wax mixture and it ended up melting really well. So now I'm going to open up the mold and get it prepared for the mixture. Okay guys, so once the mixture is fully melted, you're going to pour it in your mold. And since I didn't make enough for the whole batcher, batcher, back, batch, um, I had to redo it because I didn't measure properly and couldn't work out how the scale worked, although I've done this many times. So I'm just here making the second half of my batch um, for this macaroon candle. To one half of the candle, you're going to put in the wick and you're going to hold it in place with a clothing peg. Um, and this will just make sure that the candle stays in a straight direction so that you can light the wick later on. And here I am just adding a scent in. I chose strawberry, but feel free to choose whatever strawberry, um, whatever scent you really want. Also, do not go off how many droplets I did of the scent. You can do as many as you want. I just ended up doing four, I think, um, just because I thought that was a good amount and I do want a strong scent. So if you're looking for a mild scent, I would go for one or two.
Okay, guys, now I'm going to let these sit to cool. And when they um, are halfway done cooling, or at least the second one I put in, um, I'm going to stick in a, uh, a toothpick so that I can create the hole for where the wick will go up through creating the macaroon. Here's just a short clip of the transformation of the um, wax cooling to create the candle. So I thought this was kind of cool because the color changes over time and it's really pretty to watch. Guys, here is the layout and here is the adorable candles. Um, guys, I didn't want to film too much, but here's the final result. So guys, here is my candle holder, and here is the beautiful little candle. Just pop it in there. And now we're going to light it and see so I can show you how this works. Melt it so that we can get a sense of the smoke. We start some of these soon, so yeah. 